What's up guys, it's been a while since I did a Brazilian bleach video, so I figured I might as well do this today. Tomorrow I will do a bleach online daily, and that's gonna probably be the last daily, unless I figure out if I can do videos over there for vacation. Um, Today is basically gonna be my last minute packing, because I did pack all my clothes and everything, just have to do some small things, like laptop, my phone charges and all that, it's basically gonna be packed tomorrow. Um, some other small things I have to bring, but I have some last minute videos to finish up as well. Um, uh, most of the videos, like I said, I had to, it's basically like about certain players, so I had to wait for me to get it as most recently as possible because I don't want to have a video from like three weeks recorded and then uploaded three weeks later. That just would have been way too outdated. So I'm going to be trying to just do those kind of videos today. I'm going to be extremely busy. Um, seen a lot of people get regen, and honestly, on Brazil it's whatever because it's only 40k gold. But for US, I mean that shit is extremely expensive. Um, hopefully, it doesn't like drop down in price when it comes out next time, because a lot of people basically paid the full price. And I don't know about Zampacto's dropping because I can't. I don't remember Cotton uh, coming out a few weeks later and being at a cheaper price. But I remember when Senju first came out. She was way cheaper. Uh, a fucking like, I think two weeks after she came out, she dropped by like forty percent or something. So it's sixty k is a lot to invest in some pop I mean, it is good, but the phases are really lacking. So for those people who are getting it, even though they have a Senju and Hiki, it's kind of a risk you're willing to take. I personally still like Cotton a lot better than Ryujin, just because the partners that we have out don't really seem like they would go towards Ryujin. So that's why they left all that space in the fortifies. That means three partners are going to come out and they're going to perfectly just fit in there. And I can't even imagine how strong they can be, but we just got to pray it's something good. No more swimsuits, none of that bullshit. Um, I was actually thinking about getting it for, for Brazil, but then it's just, I don't know. At the same time, I want to get it, but I really just don't need it. Just really don't need it. And there's just the, a lot of issues if I do get it on Brazil. Um, one problem is that I basically have to have a hundred or ninety percent crit on Nemo, and when I opened all my spirit stone boxes, I did not get any crit stones. From all the Dragon Ball Festival boxes, all the top ups I did, I did not get any crit stones. So that's like the biggest problem for me to actually go ahead and get Ryujin is that missing that turn one crit from Cotton and crit damage is gonna be a big deal. Plus for events, I'm gonna still have to probably use Cotton because. If my whole team can skill on the first round when they're turn 1 because of Nemo, that's going to be doing a lot more damage than Ryuji units. Especially since Mutalite doesn't work. But the very few battle reports I've seen about Ryuji, it's pretty fucking amazing, honestly. Like I, I didn't think that the Ignite and Mutalite would be doing that much damage. But it's actually a pretty significant damage you can be doing with that shit. Um, for Brazil, I've just been getting the Hogyoku pills from uh, Hokumundo Treasure. I really like this event. It just sucks that they should have made the first one honestly VIP zero because they should have just added either more VIPs and left a and have like a base one where everybody can do it. Just because it's really not fair. I mean, they haven't been doing any events for low VIPs. I mean, pretty much or even VIP zero players. I'm still excited for whenever uh, Thanksgiving comes because usually they do free equipments like they did last year. So that was going to be nice. Hopefully they give out free 120s. I'm actually wondering if they will release like a 150 ultimate equipment set soon. Because when Cotton came out, it was a very long while after Tensa came out. Tensa has been out for probably like a year. And then Cotton came out. So I honestly just did not expect this on Pacto so soon. That's the only reason why I got Cotton two months ago. If I knew they would have had Ryujin coming out two months later, I probably wouldn't have gotten Cotton. Would have stuck with Muramasa and just gotten Cotton as it came out. Or not Cotton, uh, Ryujin. But fuck it, I mean, just such fucking bad luck with that shit. So, I'll stick with Cotton on US. Um, maybe in the future, if it ever comes down in price or there's like a really good event. Or if they raise the super value, then I might go ahead and get it. Because it would be really nice for Void Region. Plus all the next partners that are coming out. So, maybe next week we might see a partner come out because we really haven't seen anyone... 
since uh, I think Tessai was the last one, or was it Delicate Yichiro? I can't remember. One of them were the last partners that came out, and they're all disappointing. So I'm just here hoping that the next one is going to be good. Hopefully it goes into Ryujin. This way we can fill up the phases faster. Um, I do have a thousand fragments on Karinji, so that should get the third mod. But it's just, I don't know, it's really unnecessary right now. Because he's the only way I can inherit fast on Brazil. And it would still take, I think it takes about 40 something days for you to actually reset him. Like 45, 46, just to keep getting the third mod. And he's the only person I can do it with. Tavern partners are going to take a really long time. And event partners just don't get any fragments, so it's really tough out here. But I need to get Nemo's third mod as fast as possible, just because it gives, I think, another 10% speed. So she has really good bots, really good bots. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have, like, a, a pretty cool idea that I could do a Ryujin if I was to get a very interesting team, but it's just a matter of it being 200% rebates. So you still have to put, like, I think 200-something dollars, like $233 just to get Ryujin. And I don't even have the souls to make a Hogyoku Kai, so if I did get it, I would just not wait. I would literally just fucking spend gold. Fuck that shit. I'm not gonna wait for, like, two weeks trying to get it up slowly to Hogyoku Kai. And I don't know. It's just very... It's just like, there's, like, ups and downs to swapping between Regen and Cotton. That's just it. I really like the damage from Cotton. But, like, the, da uh, the defense, the... What else? Like the dots. It's all very good. The special cultivation is actually pretty good if you wanted to get exclusive frags, but you have a 50 50 chance of getting at least exclusive fragments, so this is usually the luckiest you can get on here. Um, the bags are starting to get full. But um, I'm just basically trying to get some last minute videos done for next week. Because I'm trying to actually enjoy my vacation. I'm not trying to stress out over having to do a video each day of the week because I've been doing that since January now can't even believe it's been almost six months of me doing YouTube it didn't feel like that it was that long it really didn't um shit it's it's been a fucking trip that's all I can say at least doing one video a day most of the time it was two videos three videos that shit was just too too much work so I guess a vacation is needed but Let's just fucking hope I don't, like, pass out on the plane or some shit. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm fucking stressing out about. Uh, I've been saving the souls recently just because if I do plan on getting Ryujin, which I really can't say if I will, if I do end up getting it, then obviously you guys will see a video. But I just really, I'm really trying not to. Um, so let's see, Zanpakuto. It's gonna be for, because I was using my Zanpakuto collection, so I was trying to get everything on Yokokai. I stopped at Sodana Shirayuki, so it's 5,200 for the last one. And I'm pretty sure you need like 6,000 or like 6,500 to get Ryujin for the last one alone. So it'll probably, I'll have to probably top up like $300 just to get Ryujin and get a whole Gokokai with gold. And if I do top up 18k, then that means, where is the shit, joint task. That means I could get something from the joint task. And I really don't want to get a fucking ball sack boy. So seeing as we have Ichibe today... Then that means that tomorrow is going to be either a Hikifune or a Namaya. Because now they pretty much brought in the zero divisions up here. And it's, he's a fucking 50k, if it's a 15k top up or something. I don't know. Yeah, 15k top up, 12k spend. Like, that is some ball sack. Just to get this piece of shit for free, fuck out of here. So, I mean, worst case scenario, I could have gotten him today to actually get something out of it. Um, the last day, I don't know what the, I don't know what the joint task is. I mean... Back then, the joint task was pretty good. Like, you were able to get a TSI and shit, but... It's uh, still just... You had to top up a lot in Brazil, even if they did it. I think they still made you top up, like, 30k gold, so... Even though the rebates are a lot higher, they still force you to get those top-up requirements. And I have tried to do Hollow Souls. I just didn't swap anything over. And your watch got fucking slapped by Dordoni, like... So, <laughs> I'm just gonna wait till... I get 110, which shouldn't be too long. Uh, Evil Spirit is in like 19 minutes when I'm recording this. So what I do plan on doing is uh, getting 110. 
which is probably going to be like by next week I could get 110. Reincarnate everybody, uh, refine everybody. It's going to be a long video too, so expect that. It's going to be a long video. Um, my problem is I'm not bringing my fucking microphone with me to Florida. So I don't know if I bring my Blue Yeti, but uh, probably should bring it. Just because I don't want to have some shitty laptop built in mic. It's going to be echoing and just background noise and all that. So I need to bring this with me as well, I think. Um, I don't know. I had, just had a lot of stuff on my mind. So I haven't really been myself this week. Just too much pressure, too much stress, I guess. But... Oh, shit. Just have to survive this. And then I've been too addicted to Dokken, like... I cannot stop playing this game. I'm just still so pissed that I have I have used over 1,500 mul uh, dragon, uh, dragon stones, over 31 multis, and I still did not get a Gogeta, a Paikuhan, a Super Gotenks, or a Janemba. See, the thing is, I only did like 5 Janemba pulls, and I did like 30-something 30, 30 uh, Gogetas, but I mean, still, that shit is fucked up. That shit is fucked up. The pull rates are terrible. So I just stopped spending money on this game. If I probably didn't spend as much money as I did on Token, I could have probably gotten Ryujin on, on Go Games without a problem. But now that I spent that shit and I gotta worry about Florida, I just don't want to spend my money too much. At least not until I get to Florida. And it's fucking nuts. I'm just basically gonna wait for a better uh, event on Doken. Fuck it. I really want to get that Tech uh, God Goku and I want to get that... Uh, what is his name? Majin Vegeta. Plus, I'm just gonna try again when that fucking Super Vegito drops. Fuck that shit. It's fucking unreal how unlucky a motherfucker can be, but whatever. Gotta deal with that shit. So, um. Yeah, I also been holding on to my Soul of Conquests. Just because. Just in case I do get Reiji. Like, I don't know. I fucking probably will get it. But I just keep fucking trying to tell myself not to get it, not to get it, not to get it. Because it's bad enough. I'm, I already took over the server. Fuck me. I just took the wrong shit in Dokken. Oh. I took the wrong sphere for this event. Um, But, yeah. Like, I keep telling myself I don't want to get it. I want to get it. I don't want to get it. I want to get it. At the same time, I don't need it, because I, I came to Brazil, I took over the server because of Dragon Ball Festival and all the shit I was getting in. So, on my server, doubt anybody's going to catch up to me. At least not without, like, 500% rebates and massive amount of money, or even 1,000% rebates on Christmas. And another issue is that CSB is just way too far ahead of me. They are months ahead. Fucking months ahead of me. So, I really don't want to spend to try and catch up to them. I mean... Like, 120 set would probably get me pretty close to everybody, but they all, they're all, like, fucking level 130. Most of the top players in my CSB literally are fucking playing since Christmas. And I'm just here for, like, a month and two weeks now or something. So, yeah, the entire, like, top six, I can beat up to rank seven, probably. Yeah, and the entire top six is all, like, fucking 41, 38. So many months ahead of me. 38 even has more months, so... 41 was during Christmas. That's fucking crazy. And uh, I really don't see anybody here that gives me trouble. So I just always forget to do CSB, actually. I'm just always there, like, oh, yeah, we got fucking 15 minutes till uh, Brazil Evil Spirits. I have so many alarms set for my events. Um, good thing Florida is on the East Coast time zone, so I don't have to adjust or anything. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have had a fucking hard time doing all three of my accounts. Um... Still going to try to go for Kenpachi, but only level 40 mods, so, so 10 more levels. Probably going to stick with Kenpachi until I can get Gin. On US, I have no idea what I'm doing. I want to go for Iron Man, but then certain people like me just said that, oh, he pretty much wants to go from like one of the Keto ones to Gin or to Kenpachi. Or no, I think he has Gin, and he wants to go to Kenpachi, so it's like, damn, what the fuck? I'm just really un unsure of what I want to do. Um, oh yeah, another thing about the Hakumundo Treasure event. So, do not go for both light and darkness. So, even though you could get, like, the gold retrieve, which is like this one, and you get one light and dark, you need to have, for US and any other host, you need 600. So, you need to have either 600 light or six or 600 dark or 600 light, 
But for Brazil, you just need either 400 dark or 400 light. So that's why even if you do get the first part done, you're not saving gold. You're just basically getting more for your values. So you're still going to end up paying the full price, which is 60k on there, 40k on Brazil. Like, shit, I mean, I'm pretty sure if they had Ryu Jean on US for 40k, everybody would have been getting that shit. Or at least, like, all the top players would be. I would have probably even gotten it if it was just 40k, because I already have 15k gold sitting there. Um, if I do manage to get 45k more gold on whatever it's called on US, then I could actually get it no problem, but I'm just going to stick. I need to fucking find a way to get rid of that Ichibei ballsack ass bitch. I need to get rid of him. I need to get rid of Ichibei. Like, nobody likes him. I don't like him either. So I'm finally trying to get rid of him. I have been having the worst luck on this fucking evolution shit. I've been doing this thing for like the past week and I <laughs> I still can't even get one fucking militia handguard done. So we're on the eighth evolution now for Nemo. And until I get 110, I can't do another stage without gold resetting. But evolutions have been going extremely slow, but they're getting there. Uh, basically, I don't know why the fuck I'm even going for Evo on her only. Because I don't need the Fury. It's just really good to get the speed. I think that's why I was going for it. I just really want to get the speed because by the time you reach 11, you get 15k in total. Maybe I'll take a break at 9. Yeah, I'll get just get 9th Evo and then work on your watch as well. I can actually give him the Urahara cape and what is this? The f some cell phone looking shit. So I just need to get the cons head or whatever the hell that shit is. Now we have to go play hide and go seek and find this shit. Because I really don't know which one it is. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, another thing about the servers yesterday. So the US servers were fucked up. I don't know what... I think they were fixing the Ryujin Jaka battle reports or something. No idea what they were fixing. But it was down during Evil Spirit. So both EU and US were down. And it's fucked up because they kind of... Gave compensation to US players, but not EU players. And for the first time, they actually gave you decent compensation. Like, they gave you 5 million silver, and they gave you 200 vitality and 200 coupons. So, it's a lot better than when they gave us, like, 2 million silver or 3 million silver. But they should have given that shit to EU players as well. I don't know if they only thought that US was down, but the whole fucking site was down. So, it's kind of messed up. I need to think of what the hell this shit is called. It's called a lupa. Where's my chalupa at? There we go. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I could say. Just really don't know, guys. I've been fucked up this past week. Just been fucked up. Oh, we're going to get to the purples now. Oh, oh, damn, girl. Damn, girl. We finally get into them purples. Woo. The Baku, though. I have so many of that shit on US, and only assaulters use it, so I'm oh, finally using them on Berserk Renji. Man, now you tell me I need the purple bows. Fucking watch me be trying to go for purple bows and I only get the the gold ones now because <laughs> that shit is messed up. That shit is really messed up. But this is your watch with Tashiro's tier 12 Hogu. He could probably reach 700k battle power if I gave him Tashiro's agility stones easily. And I mean, I, re I really like this your watch. Wish I had him on fucking US, but whatever. It costs too much. It's either get Ryu Jin Jack or get Ye Watch. Oh yeah, the problem with with fucking getting um damn I'm retarded. I should have top up last events. Just realized that. Yeah, it was way better to top up last events for Ryu Jin. I didn't I didn't cross my mind to go for Ryu Jin on Brazil because I thought it was gonna be 60k gold. And uh, when I found out it was 40k, it was too late. But last events it was way better to top up. You were getting if you did a 40k top up, you were able to get an elegant Onohana for free. So, plus the real power, plus the whatever fuck there was. There was a lot of shit that gave you gold back. A lot. It was way better. So, 40k alone from real furnace was like another 40% or 50%, I think, or something like that. Yeah, I think it was 50% rebate from real furnace. So, you were getting like a shit ton of gold back. Might have been 30%. Whatever percent it was. Either way, it was way better to top up last events than these events for Ryu Jin. Um, if you are topping up these events, you might as well try to... To try to get the joint task going. That's really all I can suggest to you. There's nothing else worth topping up for. Except for joint task. And if you want a gold only. It was better top of last events. But I will end the video here guys.
really just nothing else crosses my mind. Um, it's very nice that the guild has been active though. I haven't been checking it too much, but only Finney gave up on Brazil on this entire guild. Everybody else is playing, uh, not getting any invites, but we have one slot available. Let's see if we took over the guild rankings. So, yeah, they're, they're ranked 14. They also have an active guild. Probably not going to be able to catch them unless more people quit. And I think when they do start the next Brazil server, a lot of people are going to quit this server and go there. Just because I don't think anybody wants to try and compete against me. Especially when the server is already out for like two months and a half now. So we got a pretty insane lead on everybody else. Um, notice that, what's his name? Uh, Miri joined the top eight. And it's crazy because he has like three turn ones or something. Very good team as well. Uh, yeah, pretty good team. Level 80 equipments will help out more. Like I remember the struggle when I was level 40 and... Shit, until I got level 100, I got so much battle power just from equipment, so. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will bring you one last daily routine, 100% tomorrow. And I'll try to do some videos while I'm in Florida. Just to keep the daily Bleach videos going. For now, I will try to prepare as many videos as I can today. Some more tutorials. So this is your last chance. If I can read your comments today and try to prepare videos out, so schedule them on next week leave me all your suggestions like any kind of tutorials you're looking for guide videos uh, any special videos like review someone's server review these players some shit like that you know the deal but i'm gonna leave you guys here i will see you again tomorrow